Hi, I'm Andy. I'm the product specialist group leader here at Keyfront Refrigeration. I'm here to talk about frost buildup in your ESP Plus equipped evaporator. There are two factory installed cool sensors. One sensor is located on the header side embedded in the coal and between the fan motor and the coil and the second one is opposite of the header side embedded in the coil. The coal sensors are easy to relocate. The first step in relocating your coal sensors is to remove the fan guard. Remove the fan guard by removing the four Pantone fan guard um, nuts here. Removing the fan blade is a simple process. Simply loosen the screw and the hub key. Then gently remove the fan blade as not to damage the fan. Simply remove the cool sensor by taking a small screwdriver and prying the cool sensor out. Then gently remove the temperature sensor and relocate it where the frost buildup is the heaviest. Once the sensor has been inserted into the coil, take a small flathead screwdriver and bend the fins to make sure that your temperature sensor has good contact with the fin surface. Once you've relocated the temperature sensors in the coil, it's important to Assemble the evaporator to its original state. It's important that the system be powered on in sequence. Power the condensing unit on first and then the evaporator. Once your temperature sensor has been moved to where the frost buildup is the heaviest, your next step is to make sure that your ESP Plus equipped evaporator is set to demand defrost. In order to do this, the first thing you need to do is go into the advanced set point menu. The advanced set point menu is accessed by simply holding the back button down until TS appears or temperature set point. Once TS appears, push the down arrow until you see IND. Push the enter button to confirm the demand defrost setting is properly set. Once you've confirmed this setting, push the back button to exit to the main menu. For more information and support materials for the ESP Plus, visit our website at t-rp.com/esp.